I, I know you have to do about two years of training before you officially become an astronaut, including diving in the new, neutral buoyancy lab, flying the T-38 supersonic jet, and so much more. Uh, what are you most looking forward to in training? Certainly, I think the neutral buoyancy lab, because that's just like, who can do that, right? That's crazy. Right? And, and you walk into that facility and it's the biggest pool you've ever seen. And the infrastructure is just kind of wild. So I think that's going to be incredible. And um, in speaking with some of the other astronauts, it's extraordinarily challenging to participate in that training. And so uh, that will be something that I look forward to and know uh, will be, will be, uh, will require some grit. <laughs> and then sure. I think, yeah, I think also certainly I love flying, right, as a pilot. So getting back into the cockpit will be a good time. Um, and then, to be honest, some of the areas of science that I had focused, I'm um, just pumped that we get to spend time there. So one of my classmates is a geologist. Uh, I know very little right now about rocks. So I'm excited to dive into uh, into that aspect of, um, of this ecosystem. And, uh, and so of the, of the modules that we have in front of us, I would say that um, the areas I have very little information and then some of the really like uh, tactile functions as well would be the two that I'm uh, most excited for. Ooh, that's so exciting. I, I can't wait to just, I guess, kind of follow what I can through NASA on y'all's steps along the way of becoming an astronaut. And then obviously everything amazing you do afterwards